In this video, we will learn how to use HTTP put request. Thanks to the HTTP put request, we can send a request to change the data on the server. Let's better understand how it works by giving an example. Let's activate the server. First, let's look again at how the server works. The list is currently empty. Let's send two data to the server. We can see the members in the list with the GET request. We can also reach out to a specific member. We can also delete using ID. Let's delete the last member. The list is currently empty. Now let's learn how to use the put request. I specify a path for the put request. I will create a function. I am sending two variables to the function. The first is id, the second is a variable produced from the post class. First, I need to reach the index number according to the sent ID. Because I will replace the new incoming data with the old one by using the index. I can easily access the index using enumerate. The variable E represents the members in the list. If the ID of the variable is equal to the ID sent to the function, it means we have found the member. First, I convert the post variable sent to the server into a dictionary and assign it to a variable. The post underscore dict ID will be null. Because there will be no ID in the data sent. You will soon understand better what I mean when sending data in Postman. Therefore, I use the sent ID value in the post variable, which I convert to dictionary. The variable I represents the index number. Thanks to index, I can access the member in the list and assign it to the variable that I converted to dictionary. Finally, I publish a return message. Let's see how it works. The list is currently empty. I am sending two data to the list. I can access the data with the GET request. Let's create a request. I save it as a PUT HTTP request. I need ID and IP to send PUT request. I will send data in JSON format in the body section. There are only title and content variables in the data I sent. The changed data is sent back by the server. Now the title and content of the data have changed. Let's update a different member. Both members have been updated. So what happens if non-existent data is updated? The server gave an error. The server issued a message with status code 500. We may broadcast a message with a different status code. I will do this with a different method. I create a variable named G. If there is a member with the ID sent by the user, I set the variable g equal to 1. If the g variable is 0, that is, if there is no member with the sent ID, I will send the 404 not found status code using rays. I will also add a message stating this in the detail section. Let's see how it works. 
I send two data to the server. I can see the data sent with get. Let's update a member. Member updated. Let's update the other member. The other member was also updated. Now let's try to update a member that does not exist. 404 not found status sent. A message stating this was also printed on the console. We don't have to just update the title and content values. We can also update other information of the objects. For example, let's update the published value. Normally it has the value true. It was updated to false value. Let's update the other member as well. Let's update it back to true. Thanks for watching. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.